What's up guys, it's Stuart here. So if you wanna know how much I pay for insurance and hotshot trucking, I'm gonna go over that in this video with you. I just got my renewal in the mail and I'm eager to share it with you. You might wanna know how much I pay for a couple of reasons. One, you're just curious. Two, you're new or you're about to get your renewal and you're kinda trying to see what other people are paying to see if like something's not right. You're just paying an astronomical amount. And lift off, go up and lift off. Which I'm sure people in the comments will tell me that I'm paying an astronomical amount, but I don't really know. And that's also why, why I'm making the video so I can read your guys' comments to see if my quote is high or low. And then we can all look at what people are saying. And if this is a high quote, then everybody will know if that's a high quote or not, or maybe it's a low quote. I don't know, but we're gonna find out. I'm not just making this number up though, because I got the renewal that I'm gonna put up on the screen in just a second. Um, I'm also gonna go over what coverages I have. So what equipment I have, how many drivers are on my policy. And this will be the third insurance policy period, because I've been doing it for two years. So on May 17th, that will be my two years in hot shot trucking. 2,000 years later. So it will be my third insurance annual premium. There's also a huge, huge discount if I can pay it in one lump sum. And I hope you don't click off the video until I tell you what the insurance company told me if I paid it all in one lump sum, how much money I would save and my plans on how to go about getting that money. I'm gonna be going over all of that in this video and without further ado, let's get into it, guys. All right, guys, welcome to the video. I am going to be going over this as fast as I can, but as slow as it's, it will be understandable to people. So the two things you're gonna need in trucking is liability and cargo coverage. Liability, the minimum is 750,000. All the brokers want you to have a million. You gotta have a million, okay? So I have a million dollars in liability, which is uh, liability to others, bodily injury, and property damage liability. I have underinsured and uninsured motorists, both at $750,000 worth of coverage. Um, let's see here. Let's go down here. Motor truck cargo coverage. $100,000 in, in coverage. Now, if you are going to be running a load more than that, you can change that coverage at that time. But about $100,000 is, is pretty good. All right, for the next section, rated drivers, Stuart and Blake. Rated commodities, automobiles, pipes, other construction materials, other miscellaneous. Automobiles, I'm taking off. I'm taking those off. I've heard that those jack your rates up, so I'll probably be, probably be getting another quote. Um, this is the first time I'm looking at this. Uh, auto coverage schedule. Now this is uh, the same as, you know, it's pretty much has everything the same as my last coverage, but I can tell you that it did go up. And so I'll get to that in just a second. Um, what kind of equipment do we have on our policy? My brothers, a 2012 Ford F-450, and he has it insured for $50,000. A 2023 load trail, trailer, uh, it's 40 feet, 40 feet air ride, you know, pretty decent trailer. He got it for 30,000. He has to insure it for 30,000. My equipment, 2023 Ford F550, I have that insured for $80,000. And then my Diamond C trailer, I have that insured for $33,000. Everything's on loans, so I have to list the loss payees information. As you can see, Auto 1, Auto 2, Auto 3, Auto 4, that's two trailers, two trucks. We actually have four different banks for all of them. Uh, that's important when you're buying equipment, make sure you shop the rates that you get. Shop those around. Everybody's competing against each other to get your business. Um, what else, what else? Coverages, equipment, I have two drivers. All right, for everybody who's still with me, now I'm gonna go over my uh, my annual premium. It's $49,300. 
for me and my brother. So let me say that again. It's $49,300 a year. Leave your thoughts in the comments. I don't know what I have to do. I think I'm gonna have to shop this around. All right, guys, real quick. Remember what I said at the beginning of the video? If the insurance gets paid up front, then there's gonna be a huge discount. That discount is uh, 20%. So I'm gonna pay $40,000 for the both of us, me and Blake, $40,000 flat instead of $49,000. Just if I give them the money all up at front, I'm gonna do that. And this is how I'm gonna get the money. I'm gonna go to the bank. Okay, if I can get a loan for $40,000 at 8%, which I'm sure I can, I, I will shop that too. Hopefully I can get seven or 6%. The interest on $40,000 one year at 8% is $1,754. So I'm gonna pay 40,000 plus the interest of $1,754. So my grand total for the in insurance will be $41,000. $754. That's how you save 7,500 bucks. It went up by, I was thinking my third year would be, my third year would be lower. No, no. It's actually $600 more than my, than last year. So that's $300 a month, a month. So that's $300 more per month. So I'd say that went up substantially. Leave your thoughts in the comments, guys. I greatly appreciate you. And uh, make sure you hit the like button. This is sensitive information. I'll probably not be able to get another quote because this video will get pushed to insurance agents. And if I ever, if any of them know my channel, um, they're gonna try to save me $1,000. They're not actually gonna make me do, you know, get me any savings. So the like button uh, is greatly appreciated and I will see you in the next one. Peace.